What I'm about to show you is the most overpowered weapon in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, and it's so good you can solo tier 3 with it with absolute ease. Combining this with the Thermite Bolts and the Napalm Burst Ammo Mod, this crossbow is a wonder weapon. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't seem it, but this is the most overpowered weapon in Call of Duty Zombies right now. So let's pop myself some perks so we have a good setup going. And also, I need to get my tombstone because we have some goodies waiting inside of there. I need to go and pick up so we can start showing you how insane this crossbow is. All right, we're at our stash and let's see what have we got. Well, you can see we have some goodies in here. Look at this. Legendary Aoife tool. And we've got two PAP tier 3 crystals. So let's go ahead and upgrade the rarity on this. And let's go ahead and pack a bunch of the tier 3. And I think we are ready to truly show you the power. And what better way to show it by just literally going straight into the high threat zone. We need to show this against the Mega Abomination, the elite bosses, to show you how incredible this thing is. Okay, so let's see how good it is against, say, a random disciple that's just chilling in the tier 3 zone. We shot him only a few times there as we were running away from zombies and dogs and yeah, insta-kill. It's pretty much going to kill a whole horde without any trouble at all. All you got to do is just spam it. And that's the beauty of this is just how quickly you can shoot this thing as well. There is a contract here. I want to grab that because we are going to be farming in this video. And this is literally the only weapon I'm going to take in here with me. And there's always zombies that are camping around here. So we just spray a little bit there right immediately jump on the vehicle here we go and we're about to get our first potential schematic come on give me something good game what are you gonna give me juggernaut can okay large backpack definitely need that we'll take that elemental pop recipe i think i'm only missing one so i'm gonna take that i'm gonna stow another self res which you can never go wrong now we could just farm those all game because that's an easy way to farm contracts in tier three but that's not fun i want to kill some stuff oh We've spotted the Mega Abomination. Maybe I should get some ammo quickly before that, just so we have some decoys. Still looking for this Abomination. He's literally just disappeared. But the beauty of this and every other weapon in the game, as a matter of fact, especially with this, is it is so easy to kill zombies with. And the zombies just drop the ammo for it. So you can just repeatedly be using this thing. And it is so effective. Whilst we look for the Mega Abomination, I want to test how good this thing is against the mangler that's just chilling here just the mangler all right so we're gonna shoot him a few times he's mangled and he's already dead i'm telling you this 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 is a wonder weapon there's the abomination finally we found it all right here we go combine this with our thermites you can already see the amount of damage that we're doing to this guy without even having an open mouth okay there's the laser we don't want that right let's throw another decoy okay he's got his mouth open yeah the thermite is just absurd damage against him I'm going to combine this with the actual Fermite grenades as well. All right, we need to get some ammo back for this thing. Luckily, we use that. Oh, my God. He's still stomping around. I need to kill some zombies to get some ammo. Oh, we got him. Killed 20 mega abominations. Yeah, I think we killed him over here. Yeah, we did. Right, let's see. What rewards did this abomination drop? He dropped some... Oh, he napalm burst. I'll definitely take that. I think if I combine that on here, this might actually make it even better than it already is. Let's go ahead. Pop that napalm burst on. I think this might actually be the most overpowered version that we could possibly get. Let's go for another abomination. Oh, we've got another bomb here. This is beautiful. Although I don't think we're going to get as much ammo back at the ammo cache as what I would like. So we might have to train around a little bit. Okay, ammo fully filled. Here we go, boys. Let's see. How quickly can we take this guy down? We're hitting him properly in his mouth. Oh, no, we ran out of ammo. Throw it down. Oh, my God. A guy's doing a spore in here right how there we go look at that boys oh my god all right what drops did we get an epic ether tool and a free plate i definitely need that free plate oh that will help a lot okay how good is this against the mimic all right because i know mimics they absolutely hate fire damage this is actually insane it's just absolutely wrecks mimics holy moly okay but now i've got full ammo let's find another abomination and then after that we'll try a bounty contract okay the spore is no longer here did my guy just fully complete a spore control in a tier three zone if so what a madman oh my god look how many dogs i've got after me oh my lord all right we've picked up a bounty we're testing how strong this is going to be against 
the elite zombies, all right? I really need to get armor plates. I'm playing a risky game here. Okay, it should be anywhere nearby. Where you at, buddy? Are we just chilling there? Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Get a bit closer, buddy. I love how quickly you can shoot this thing. Oh my god. Wow. Okay, this thing is no joke, lads. Are you kidding me? Okay, we've got to do more bounties. Please don't die trying to pick this contract up, John. Please don't die. Yes. Okay. Ooh, mega abomination. Oh, boy. Okay. I have a really good feeling this is just going to be insane against it. My only issue is that you run out of ammo very quickly. Get some of these zombies running our way. Come on. There we go. There's some ammo. Look at how much ammo you get. That's... That's the sort of drop I was looking for. Oh, Lord. He doesn't know we're here. Okay, now he knows we're here. He knows we're here. Get that mouth open, boy. I want to see those teeth. Okay, so far, so good. Right, let's kill some of the zombies. Oh, I'm playing with my life here, boys. I'm playing with my life. Okay, zombies. Did you drop any ammo? Yes, you did. Thank you. It's not a lot, but it's something. Okay, there's the thermite out. Oh, he wants me. But so far, we've done over half damage, and we've hardly really been shooting at him. That is incredible. Getting the zombies to drop ammo is the hardest part. Did you drop any, son? Okay, we are, we are back. We're back. Look how much health this thing has now, though. He has nothing. And he is dead. He is dead. And look what he just dropped. Flawless Efoot Crystal. I'm going to stow that. Thank you very much. All right, what do we get out of that? Oh, unfortunately, nothing great. Nothing great. This thing is absolutely insane. Oh, we need to get a disciple now. I need to see this killer disciple. Okay, now we've got another mimic. That's fine. Keep your head on a swizzle. I will try. But I don't think I even need to. Because look how strong this is. Magic is you don't even have to aim. Absolutely insane. Tier 3 zone should not be this easy. Like, we are making this look so ridiculously easy. Basically, back to full ammo. So I'm going to try one more bounty. This has to be the most overpowered weapon in all of zombies. Like, there's just... There's just... You just can't, can't deny it. Okay, buddy. I'm going to need you to come out of that room. I'm sorry. There he is trying to suck the soul out of me right let's back down here a bit how quickly can we take this lad down oh my god actually way quicker than i expected oh my god okay what did i get in this brain rot ammo mod you can't win them all well i think this demonstrates alone just how incredible this is but i'm gonna go one step further because i'm actually gonna try and kill what i believe is the hardest boss in all of modern warfare 3 zombies and it's the boss that exists only in the storm called the storm caller it's a disciple that is super beefed up and i'm gonna try and take it out using just the crossbow i just need to make sure i don't go down in here because it is so easily done but the thing with the, the the issue with this boss is that it is a disciple that has the power to just heal like crazy but thermites are actually they're actually pretty decent against it i cannot lie this crossbow has the um thermite bolts on it so it's pretty powerful but i've also got a jug suit that i'm going to call in as well let's call that in right now in the game using the crossbow is honestly one of the funnest things i've ever used inside of modern warfare 3 all right i'm getting absolutely lasered here by the zombies oh god i might need to kill some of them just because once this breaks oh lord it's gonna break very very soon Ooh, look at that 87 hp on the suit i don't think i actually did any real damage to the stormcaller with this jug suit yep no we didn't right one more decoy i think that right there proves just how strong the crossbow is against this thing it's really strong but i'm gonna need to go get some ammo right we are doing a lot more damage now with the insta kill but as you can see we're still not doing a ton of damage he's healing off me hello stop healing his hand's incredibly powerful i genuinely think the crossbow is actually better than the jug suit against this guy i would i would easily say this is more difficult to kill than uh orcus the final worm boss not having decoys hurts man we were doing really good damage to him to start with but i think now it's just not hitting the same okay let's try the jug suit again I just need to really be going for his hand and his head this time. Are you seeing this? Even with all perks, he's not really doing much at all. I am so shocked. You're seeing it right here. Like, the best kill streak in the game 
is not good enough against the storm caller i'm trying to think what other kill streaks could i use against this guy i don't know okay now we got full ammo back from killing some zombies Ooh. all right decoy out decoys just don't last long enough i feel like we were doing so much damage to him for ages and now we just can't really do anything and then the disciples just do this weird thing where he just gets stuck in place like that i mean if if he wants to continue to be stuck be my guest yep he is just stuck i don't know if this is a blessing or a curse i literally cannot hit him the brother is firmly stuck in place can we make anything happen with the jug suit again and the amount of zombies that are hitting me right now you can see even here this is barely touching them the amount of health that this dude has is just next level now it's just a matter of just shooting at him enough when i get the chance should be able to kill him now not how i wanted this boss fight to go but this happens so many times when doing like the bounties for disciples that i i can't say i'm surprised but yeah if you want a pretty good weapon that actually will do damage and and take down the storm caller at a decent length of time then this is the weapon boys the crossbow with thermite bolts what did he drop he dropped a gold skull cryo freeze that gold skull can actually be sold 5,000 points and essentially giving you a free pack a bunch which is really really good but yeah that was a grind but we managed to take him down now if that doesn't prove how op the crossbow is and I don't know what will. So here is the loadout that I've got for what I'm deeming the fire bow. The most important thing to have on is the Bright Blaze 20 inch bolts. These are the thermite tipped bolts that just do insane damage. If you want to see more OP weapons in zombies, let me know by clicking the thumbs up. And there might be another OP gun on your screen right now for you to click.